In this video, we are going to discuss how to start a recording for a sleep study using the Easy3 system. On your desktop, you will find the application icon for Easy3 Record Data. Open the application to launch the dashboard. Depending on your location, this dashboard may launch on its own, meaning your Windows login credentials have been used to securely log you into the Easy3 application, or you may need to use an assigned CADWA login. Now that the dashboard is open, let's walk through what's available on the screen. First, you may see up to three tabs across the top, New Patient, Select Patient, and Scheduled Patients. We'll get into more detail with these in just a bit. You will also see that with the dashboard open, you have the ability to take a photo of your patient before starting your study. Please keep in mind, you will need to have a camera integrated into your EZ3 system for this feature to work. You may have buttons or button that will allow you to select the type of test you will be recording in the Start Recording area. For the purpose of this video, we will be using the PSG button. Finally, if you click on the question mark, it will take you to an Easy 3 help file. Also, if you select Installed Components, you may find out what version of software you are using. In older versions of the application, this may instead be stored under About Easy 3 but still under the question mark button. If you speak with any of our CADWELL support team, they may ask you for this information. Now to start our recording, we first need to enter our patient information. This can be done using one of the three tabs on our dashboard. We will start with the new patient tab to enter our patient information. You will use this tab if the patient is new to your sleep lab. You do not have an interface with your electronic medical record or EMR and you do not use the CADWELL scheduler. You will see some fields require you to fill in information before allowing you to select the appropriate study recording button. Be sure to fill in last name, first name, birthday, and gender. As you fill in these fields, the patient ID field will create a generic ID for you. Your site may choose to keep this for your records or you can enter your own ID information instead. You do not need to have patient information in the field forms to take a picture of your patient. You can take a picture anytime before starting your recording. Once you've put in your patient information, your recording buttons will change from gray to blue, allowing the study recording button to be selected. In our case, we are using the PSG button. If you have input patient information that matches information of a previously recorded patient, you will see a message pop up. The Use Existing Patient Question pop-up is to help reduce patient duplication within the EZ3 system and manage your patient studies more effectively. If you verify that the patient information is in fact the same, you can click Yes. This will use the existing patient information. If you determine the patient information is not the same, click No and you will create a new patient. Utilizing the Select Patient tab is another way to start a new recording. Under this tab, you will find a list of all patients that have previously undergone a test at your facility. You may scroll through the list of patients to find the correct patient, or you can even search for the patient using the fields along the bottom. Once you've selected the appropriate patient, you can take a new photo if the current photo displayed is older. Now select the PSG button to start your recording. The final way to start a study is to use the Schedule Patients tab in the Record Data Dashboard. This will be used by facilities that are using the CADWELL scheduler or have the EZ3 system interfaced with their EMR. Like the Select Patient tab, this is a searchable list. You will be able to search this list with some new identifiers though by searching by status and date. Once you've selected the correct patient, click the PSG Recording button. After you have clicked the PSG button, the system will start to launch the EZ3 collection workspace. You will stop at the current patient information window before your workspace is loaded. You may choose to input patient information at this time, or you can input the information later once your study is up and running. If you choose to put the information in at this time, do so into the appropriate fields and click OK when done. If you choose to wait to put in your information, click OK at this time. The workspace will now load. Once loaded, you can click on the green button to start the recording.